The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials flat. NASDAQ's up two, S&P's are down one. Gold contracts trading up nine bucks at 12.77. We got the silver contract up 40 cents, $17.17. .17. Platinum is up 17 at 9.41. Light sweet crude, we got light sweet crude numbers out this morning, 10.30. Uh, down 39 cents, $46.08 a barrel. Uh, notes and bonds in the dollar, folks, is a story out here. It's pretty amazing. Notes are up 18 ticks. 127.05. Bonds are up a point and a half, 156.21. And King Dollar is down 495 ticks, trading at 96.435. You get the Fed. Two That's what I was going to say, right? Two o'clock. Uh, the inflation numbers uh, didn't come in uh, as the market uh, wanted them, or the Fed would like to see them come in. Uh, so, bottom line, it's setting up some nice volatility uh, as we come into this uh, two o'clock time frame out here today. Definitely. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. You want to understand options upside down? Kevin Hinks, Scott Connor, an amazing show, Swim Lessons. If you haven't test drove the Think or Swim platform yet, come over to our website at TFNN, hit the TD Ameritrade banner. You can bring up the platform. They'll let you trade with paper money. You can follow along with Scott and Kevin and see how these options trade each and every day and now that we get some volatility baby you think they'll have a few trades for fed day maybe it's, it's a two-way market baby kevin hanks what's going on good morning tom good morning tommy speculation's the way we make our living tom you know that <laughs> and it, you know that's what we're looking for there is no doubt and when we finally you know got some movement last friday you know, we haven't had movement like that in so long. I says, thank God for a two-way market. I mean, it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's what happens, folks, is that I understand for investors you want, you know, a one-way market, just keep going up. And I, I get that. But if you're in the market every day, you want a two-way market happen. Sure. <laughs> exactly. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Exactly. And, and think about it, Tom. With last Friday's market, Dow up 80, NASDAQ down 140, you got something for everybody there. You do. You do, you right. know, and you know, you know, we've all seen this happen before, folks, but that is unusual. There's no, there's no two ways about it, you know. NASDAQ, when, man. That when, you know, and when the NASDAQ gets ripped apart, it gets ripped apart. There's, there's no doubt. And the real question is going to be, you know, does the Dow and the S&P pull the NASDAQ high with it, or is the NASDAQ going to basically do the heavy lifting and pull the other indices lower? You know, so we'll see how that lays right. out. I really think what we're going to be focusing on today and what you're already starting to see in these markets pre-Fed announcement is the last three times the Fed has moved on rates, bonds have rallied coming out of that. And, rate, and yields have actually gone down. Now, they've gone down by a little less each time. Yes. But, uh, you know, I'm looking for, could it possibly be the scenario where we get a 2% 10-year yield? in an environment where we're raising interest rates, you know, that's a lot of people, a lot of experts calling for a 2% yield in the 10-year, or even what you were saying, 1.9% yield in the 10-year. So right now, 2.1... We're, we're just not getting the numbers. Really, we're 2.12 right now. Yeah. So, right. I mean... Bottom line, folks, we can, we can be at, at two today. Yeah. It, it, it is amazing. Right. You know what's interesting, though? It, not, not though. It, what's interesting is that we do have an environment that there are so many, whether it's, um, you know, state um, pension funds, large pension funds that have to own bonds. And guess what? We've been pushing out less bonds. So the bottom line is that that supply and demand curve you know, inside their charters, they need them. So it's like, okay, man, they're buying bonds. Sure. Yeah. That's and and let's face it, 
even though we're in a, I call it normalization, really, phase for rates, this economy, I mean, retail sales. We had another weak number of in retail sales. Yeah. So we're not getting the actual data that we need right now. So, you know, the most important thing, guys, now that this rate hike is in the market, but what are her comments at the 2.30 news conference? Yes. And that's the musty TV part of today's trade because that's going to set the pace for going forward, right? Um. This quarter point move is in the market. It's 99% chance. So what is she going to say coming out of this meeting? Is she going to go dovish based on these numbers, or is she going to leave a little wiggle room for another rate hike? Because the further out numbers, probabilities are way low for a rate hike September, December. Yes. So and you know, we got a lot of work to do before we're ready to get there. Seriously, Kevin, and, and as, as we've been talking with Kevin, folks, from TD Ameritrade at Think or Swim, and since we got on the phone with you, right, Kevin, the doll has gone down another 150 ticks. <laughs> it's like this yeah. thing is just barreling. I mean, it got under that, that low, so now it's like, okay, um, it's game. And, of course, for the commodity market, folks, you know, I happen to like it. I mean, because sure. I'm basically That's a long. Big, you're right. You know, that is a big tailwind. For the commodity market. It is. Folks, right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Now, no matter where you're listening right now, if you're in the West Coast going to work, 7 o'clock in the morning, guess what? At uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, your time, go to tfnn.com, right on your cell phone, swim lessons. You're going to get some great education. Kevin, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show at 12 o'clock. Have a great day, guys. Can't Thanks, wait. Kevin. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Folks, uh, Dow right now uh, is up 15, Nasdaq's down 2, S&Ps are off 1. And uh, if you haven't test drove that Nadex platform, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. Uh, you can hit the banner, bring up the platform, they'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. You can uh, walk along with us as we trade the defined option contracts. So, oil, we got oil at 11 o'clock, we get, we'll get into the rest of this in a second, but we have oil EIA happening. inventory, right, 1030 Eastern, they'll be right. coming out. So here's the crude oil contract we're looking at. July's the active contract on the Nadex platform right now. So we yeah. have July contract about 4614 is where we're trading at right now. Okay. And so you had said maybe you were even leaning towards the bullish side. But, I am. Um, jumping around. We started off with the 11 a.m. spreads. We could use 46 as our pivot point. Okay. So that would actually be nice if you're a little bullish because yep. you're going to have some intrinsic value to the upside. Yes. Um, so let's pull this up and see. Let's start here because there's a few options, right? Okay. I said so. These are $1.50, so they're going to be $150. Here's our positive one on the right. Yep. Here's our negative one on the left. We're buying the positive one. Now this is gonna be the, the expensive one because yep. as this is climbing even more, we have 20 cents of intrinsic value in here. Okay. And then this is gonna be the short side, which is 35. So $50 on the spot, Okay. 50 cents, and you have, you have a buck 50 potential. Now you have 23 cents the positive side already. This is, you know. It's, which is sweet. Yeah, it's jumped well, in. Well, it's sweet as long as it goes up. Um, since we did it. Right. So, one of the other options, till 2.30, you okay. could have the same $46. So that one's 50 bucks, because we're going to trade both sides of it. We're looking yeah. for volatility. And folks. so let's just pull this up real quick, and I'll jump. So 46 to 49. Yeah. So that one you're paying 83. And, and that's to when? 2.30. Okay. And you have $3 as opposed to just $1.50. Right. Now, what's right. interesting, though, if you were going to consider this one, yeah. Then I would suggest maybe actually going even down here to the five dollar daily spreads, because I bet there's not much more premium that you have to pay. Yeah. And let's just pull this up again. So now we have forty six to forty one on the short side. Okay. And forty six to fifty one on the long side, and you can see the exact same eighty three. Yeah. So you have the exact that's... same trade, but if you're fortunate enough to get more than three dollars a movement right so if you're ever gonna make those trades you know where why would you ever make the three dollar the three dollar trade here when you could trade the five dollars if that's what you're actually doing that's crucial to understand yeah so let's go back to the 11 o'clock yeah. I'm gonna go back to the 11 um okay so here's the 11 a.m.s yep pulling up both again we got a short one on the negative side to the left that's gonna be the cheap one positive one over here so yeah Forty-nine to right. fifty dollars. So let's do a couple of those. Okay. So, yeah. So what we're looking for, folks, is that I, I'm on the bullish side here, and the reason being is that um, I'll show you in this uh, intraday. It's too bad that it spiked up a little before, but that's that's life in the city. Because um, sure, intraday, sure. we already had one nice spike inside that oil market. Okay. And there's two different things happening. Oil's at the the lower end of its consolidation that's been in. And the dollar is getting destroyed. It's like, okay, man, sure. you know, hey, guess what? This and just to cover it real quick, right? So yep. we have two contracts each, 14 on the short side we're paying because that's out yep. of the money. And 72 as in 36 per contract on the positive side. Right. So $50 per combined. Right. But what's interesting is that, you know, you only need to make up 14 cents of value going positive. Right. And that's where, you know, you need to make up 36 cents. And that's 36 where you're already starting above the box. Yeah, I don't want this to go south. <laughs> yeah, you know, but you do have exposure to both sides and when we're going to get oil inventory at 1030, um, seven and a half minutes away, we'll see, we'll get some volatility. Yeah. But we got the 11 AMs this time, so make it quick. Make it quick. And go. then if we go over to the marketplace, folks, and uh, let's go tell you, let's take a look at the market quickly. So, uh, you know, yesterday we were trading these uh, t uh, two hour ones. Yes. I've been trading the two hour ones this morning. Yeah, the too. NASDAQ yeah. kind of two hour spreads. So, what I did out here this morning is that, um, actually right when, the, <laughs> right when the program, I had the eight to tens too, 
Uh, I got you. Sure did. Ten oh six. I think we go live at ten oh seven. Yeah, and then I hit back. Well, when you start I'm doing getting two set hours. up, you have three minutes in between your update. Good yeah, work. right. There you go. <laughs> Uh, so I, the box I had there was the 5760s, the 5770s. Yeah. And, uh, you got you know, in at about 6610. That's so you're right. So you shorten it, so you're risking about 39 to make the 61 right. going down. Right. So risking 39 per contract, you get three contracts. Right. Yeah, and this is the contract right here that you're trading at. And then when that was happening, just so you, you understand, I have the risk of 39, but the contract itself was still higher, too. It, it, yes, it, the market wasn't yeah, the mar at... They, this price, no, correct. It, no. it would have been a and then, little bit higher. Yeah, it was like three or four points higher, actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, I, sure. It, I got that. I was lucky. I did, that downdraft just came in. Do you know what I mean? That's the second, the second downdraft. Yeah. You know, and that's what I was actually looking yep. for because of the first downdraft. You know, so yep. we'll see where that sh does shake out. Cool. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We go over to the gold contract and the bottom line. You know, this is going to be a, well, it's a classic right now. Meaning, you know, I was talking about yesterday that gold was had saved itself yesterday. You know, came down to the breakout area, had light of volume, um, and that was heavy strength. And guess what? It, it, it's coming right through. The strength is coming through. You, look at this. We've already done 163,000 contracts. Yeah. We got a low yesterday with 176,000. Sure. You're going after a swing point that has 250,000, which is yeah. beautiful. So, um and what time does the gold? One thirty. One thirty. So the, yeah. So that. So the Fed, you're not open to, which is unfortunate. No. We've done this. We did this last time. Remember, it, you it, had a trade on right the last time. Yeah. Right. You know. So um, the dollar, however, if we go back over to the dollar for a second, the the dollar you could be trading. You know, I wouldn't be trading it now. I wouldn't be selling it right now. But uh, you know, this this broke nice. This yeah. broke the ninety six four sixty five. Yep. You've done twenty one thousand contracts. That's going to be a big break, folks. Okay. Um, you know, we'll end up doing like 45, 46,000 contracts, and that's going to be an ABC down. So your eight point on this is 99,760. That's pretty intense. No, that's not that bad. Three, 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 three bucks. But three bucks gets you, uh, you know, to yeah, 9450. 90, 94. Yeah. And it's 95,905, I believe. That is the low of the election night. Let's pull this up. And that's where this thing's been heading for a while. Yeah, there it is. Nine, 95, 905. That's where this thing, you break that. I suspect we're going to break it. I mean, but that's where this thing's been heading. It's pretty wild, man. It is. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. And then, of course, uh, if you haven't heard, folks, uh, we had a, a shooting at a baseball field. We got another freaking psycho running around with a rifle. Yeah, unfortunately, I know. Bad news, is, man. Congressional baseball practice. So yeah. fortunately, it looks like nobody was killed. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. it looks like you know we're hearing it, but it seems I, like let's, let's hope that's the case. I know. Sure. I mean, what a way to wake up in the freaking morning. Pretty not not us. I'm talking about them. Right. That's early in the morning. You know. So send some prayers out there. Send some good white light because the bottom line is that uh, just it's it's too bad. Yeah, sure. it's not. It's a bad scene. Um, we get over and we take a look. Let's go, let's go look inside the NDX right now and see what uh, is shaking and baking that baby. So the leader, Alexa Pharmaceuticals, is up 6.9%. Norwegian Cruise is up 1.6%. Uh, taken away from it is um, Biogen down 2.9%. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to be coming back. And, of course, we're going to be coming back with those oil numbers. Dow Industrials are up 2. Nasdaq's flat. S&P's are down a buck and a half. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. 
And if that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger's TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. And you talk about volatility. <laughs> when we were on the break, oil had already just spiked to 46.45. Now we're at 45.82. Yeah. And it was crazy. It spiked. We'll go over the numbers. It spiked wow. 25 seconds before they released those numbers. It did. And there was definitely a buyer, and that buyer was on the wrong side as it this, popped. But this. So it looks like crude oil inventories fell 1.66 million barrels. Yeah. So here's your short side one yeah. that we're looking at. That's the one with value right now, obviously. Um, if you get a push down here, you could always choose to buy these back, but you have about 50 cents. Now you could get, you know, looking at 23, 25 on this side and still be open to the positive side. I think the median estimate was about 2.4 million barrels decline. Okay. So coming in. So do me a favor. Sure. I want to buy those. I want to buy those these? back. Yeah. See, I'm buying back the shot side, folks. I still expect it to, to go up. So we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, okay. Here. I want to make sure uh, it popped on us. Oh, you got it. Okay, okay you got it. So you okay. got $28 to, to the negative side on each one of those. So you got $22 to make up. Wow, that's pretty good. So, it's not bad. Yeah, so okay. on the positive side, you know, right now you're only at $4. Yeah. But yeah, you've got a good 29 minutes. And as we know, right, we know it can spin around and you just cut your wrist down dramatically from 50 cents to only 22. All right. And you just take that side. Because realistically, you were, you were looking for a positive bounce. That's I, right. I like that trade where if you get a bounce in the other direction, right. you have an opportunity to take some some good money off the table All right okay so here i'm sorry let's yep. go through these numbers again then okay definitely so here we go crude est uh crude inventories down 1.6 million barrels the yep. estimate was down 2.4 so you got 800,000 extra barrels than you thought you had yeah so extra supply prices dropping cushing um cushing down 1.1 Pad 3, down 1.3. Gasoline was plus 2 million versus an estimate of minus a million. Okay. So definitely a lot more gasoline. We'll have to take a peek at that market. Um, distillates up 300 versus 500. So not huge misses, but definitely more oil and more gas than they thought they would, they would be. Okay. 
We'll see where this baby shakes out. Yeah. So let's put... Yeah, so stockpiles down for the ninth time in 10 weeks. As it's crude stockpiles, it's saying, you know, just stockpiles aren't rising, that's for sure, which right. is interesting. Right. So right now, I mean, it, this, this contract that I, I'm still in, folks, the, the contract's trading at 45.75. It just happens to be that I have $4, but if this expires here, I'm going to have nothing. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So you start gaining value at forty six dollars. Right. Um, yeah. I like I like that. Oh, I do too. I, like I would have taken a similar. Yeah. I like I like taking, you know, because there's nothing to say that if it just oscillates back around here and, and expires at forty six, you know, you're gonna lose fifty dollars in that trade if oh, you don't yeah, take no, no, anything totally. off. Um, and it, it, it even will, right now, you would only be securing twenty-five dollars just to put things, and you got twenty-eight off the table. Right. Yeah. And and what, what, ha what happened here, folks, which is pretty amazing, if you if you happen to watch the Target TV, there was a spike here one minute before the numbers came out, and it was like, what's going on? It's like it a fifteen-second spike, yeah, right? Yeah. And then Lost. it kind of pulled back to where it was. And totally. And then the numbers got released. Totally. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, we'll see you without baby. Yeah, uh, you get 25 minutes. Plenty if of time. If anybody watches the show, they know that's a long time. 25 minutes. Oh my God, that's a that's a long time in this business. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go over and take a look at these bonds. So we have two o'clock today. The Fed statement comes out. Two thirty, they have a news conference. <laughs> look at this thing. It's rocking. This is like, folks. The 30 year was already in an ABC structure on the way up. It had already taken out the B point on the 2nd of June. Now what you have is that you're just confirming the whole thing, man. I mean, it's going again. That, that 155.07, you had uh, 323,000 contracts. Well, we've already done 231,000, and you're over. So yeah. it's like, man, that, that is quite a move. Yeah. If, if you want to see it... And if some of you folks don't have the futures, if we just go over to the TLT, because this is going to be moving. Look at the TLT. TLT is going to break out, folks. So the TLT is the 20, the Treasury 20-year-plus 20 bond ETF. It's great. Yeah. So Fed's going up on rates, and, and rates are going down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how, how wild is it that, is. man? It is. That, that, folks, is really different. Can you it, go to the, uh, the Fed funds yeah. futures? So... Yeah, so that's our probability, 93.5% right now. Right. And would this be the next one? This is, that's it. So this, this is, is what I'm going across, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is the next one. Oh, okay. That's, I, that's I, a, I had to aggregate myself. And that's what Kevin was this. talking about. Yeah, that's okay. what I wanted to look up. Right. So that's great. So in September, market's saying 20% chance of the next hike. Yeah. Either in September or November, both of them. And 20 is a low number. Yeah. Because fact, that's, 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 I guess, they bump it up to 32 in December. Yeah. But that's still less than a one out of three chance that they have it's, two rate hikes left. It's small right now. Yeah, right. right. As in, they're not too confident that they're going to come with a second hike. Right. Even though they're pretty sure, bless you. Excuse me. That they're going to come with one. Um, and look at, look at the white. So the white here is... Um, the probability of that rate hike. And it's, it's amusing how we've gone straight from February... Um, up to 93%. Yeah. For that one. Yeah. And, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. And after that number this morning, so the number this morning that the, you know, let's see, where is the, I can't believe it's hard to GDP. So let's see, the rebound from the transitory growth lull in the first quarter largely depends on significant resurgence of consumer spending. The latest retail Sales results cast doubt of the extent of the rebound. Weakness in consumer spending earlier this year attributed to a range of temporary factors. So you, what the Fed had said the last time on one of their, their statements is that they thought this was transitory. And I guess transitory means just what a... Transition, so it's a... Okay, so it's short-lived. Short-lived, yeah. right. And now it's going to be, okay, well, is it that short-lived? Because this is the second quarter. Uh, it was last quarter, now it's this quarter, and it got even worse. I was trying to click. I clicked on retail sales. That brought us deep within everything, I think. Too deep. I just wanted the top line number. Retail spend is barely, is barely positive. Autos and gasoline consumption is significant contri 
contributing factors, but other categories. Um, so yeah, they're just saying, you know, if growth continues at 2% through mid-year, it'll make a third rate increase, a much closer call. Upcoming jobs report will be critical. Headline retail sales minus 0.3% fell significantly before, below consensus that's, expectations. That's a minus. Yeah, the expectation was no change for the month of May, and you okay. had a retail sale decline. April sales were unrevised. Let's see. Um, although one-tenth, yeah. Either way. Yeah. So, and we'll see, uh, you know, how they... Uh, like Kevin said, we'll see what she has to say. Oh. Chair Yellen. Yeah. Chairwoman Yellen at 2.30. No doubt. Um, you know, dollar's still laying down there. Um, Let's check out the oil, see what we got going on as we come to the break. Oh, boy, okay. Oh, that's all right. Ah, you, you want all upside action here. No, I know, but I needed that test, I think, at the bottom. Okay, perfect. Well, we'll see. 21 minutes, you're all set. <laughs> that's plenty of time. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials right now are free. NASDAQ is down one. S&Ps are off one and a half. We're going to break back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. And uh, that oil, oh my. I was going to joke that we were going to be below $45 by yeah. the time we came back from the break, and we were within six pennies. It's pretty remarkable. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a dollar twenty move down. Yeah. yeah. Realistically, it's a dollar fifty move almost from that spike. What did we get yeah. up to? 
Yeah, forty six fifty one, and we're now we're at fifty bucks. Right, and Very you're forty five bucks. Forty five. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Big number. So that 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 you know, Tommy, I was just talking about the aspect of uh, you know, you got to start thinking about the aspect of between electric. The I was just telling them that there's there's an article yesterday that Goldman Sachs they're building a new building for themselves in New York, and they just made a huge power deal, and it's going to be powered by wind power. Sure. Well, they're buying the power, and that's how the power is getting done. Sure. Which is amazing. You're talking about Manhattan. So they, you know, they buy it somewhere else. They're going to power it all the way in. It's like really <laughs> pretty <laughs> remarkable. Know, that's that's you know. And you have so many more producers, right? It's not all about yeah. OPEC anymore. Right. American production. There's a lot of oil too. There's there's a lot of oil, man. There's Combine a that with a lot of other. Yeah, you know, natural gas too. So you yeah, know, there's just right. a lot of other en well, that, energy, let alone there is. wind, solar. Yeah. that's coming because yeah, the, all the well, all the city vehicles in St. Pete, the the big buses and everything, that's all natural gas. Okay, you know right. they, they they had that for quite a while. Yeah. Now the question is going to be, okay, what's the next big fleets that are coming? Whether it's natural gas or electric, you know, because the fleet, it, it the fleets make a difference. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Big and difference. as that shift, you yeah. know, takes over. We'll see what happens. I was always joking when we got down to where, you know, oil was a buck, what was it at its lowest levels? Buck 50 a gallon, yeah. buck 40 a gallon. And it's like Cheaper almost, than what? Yeah, and I don't know if that equation makes sense. It does, well, you know, in no, terms of. I'm, I'm with you. Nowadays, you know, I, I enjoy bottled water, or filtered sure. water, whatever it is, right? But you can drink water out of your tap water and, and right. live and survive. And for what the purposes that oil delivers, it seems like. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to live without. I know that I wouldn't be able to live without really, oil right now. It's really probably saying how ridiculously priced water is everywhere, rather than it is that oil shouldn't be so cheap. When you yeah. think about paying a buck twenty nine yeah. for something that's filtered right out of your tap. Right. <laughs> this thing looks like it's gonna croak. Yeah, I said oil could be in trouble, and under forty five dollars, psychology wise. You start playing with forty dollars, those companies are gonna get worried because that's a different world than fifty. Right. Right. No doubt. Yeah. And let's let's go over there. Messing, they're messing with my GDX out here, Tom. Oh, boy. Yeah. So let's go take a look at this. So the GDX, see, it never stops in this business. <laughs> okay. So now, you know, we, we were up at 2342. You're at 2310. So it looks like it's going to fill the gap. That's not the end of the world. That would be 2302. Okay. We'll see how that uh, shakes out. And the contract itself hasn't moved. Let's go, uh, oh, look who, it's a beautiful thing. Let's go to Mike in Somerville. Hey, Mike, what's going on, brother? Hey, guys, how's it going today? Going Morning, good, Mike. how you doing, man? Listen, we're getting through with our heat wave. This is the last day of the heat wave up here in uh, Boston, good old Boston. That is wild, man. So it's been 90 and humid, right? Uh, Tom, I, I can't even tell you the back of my leg when the sun was hitting it the other day, I thought it was the car. And it was it was actually the sun. It was it was like it was like there was a flamethrower on the back of my my cap. <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> wow. Oh my God. You know what we go up. You know it's not that kind of heat that you guys have down there. It's oh no! Listen, stuff. you don't want to be trapped in Boston in heat. They're pure, all crazy heat. Pure in the cement summer with, oh, yeah. it comes up. It it grabs you and see you later, man. Pretty intense, no doubt. You know you know what we're doing, Tom. Now and this is the one we've talked about this. We're, we're complaining about the spring, and then we then boom. A week later, we're complaining about the heat. It's just it's insane. It's I know you're gonna move down to Florida, man. That's right. <laughs> hey, listen, I had to ask you guys a question. Do you have Cumberland Farms down there? No, I don't think so. No. No. Very familiar with it. Of oh course, yeah, we but, know it upside down, but, but we don't have down it down here. here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because we have the guy with the commercials, and like he's it's a great commercial, and the guy you only pay a dollar. For our coffee there, and the, you can get any size iced coffee for a dollar, Tom. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, Dunkin' Donuts must be flipped then. Tom, I, me and my buddy have a joke. Like, if he goes to Dunkin' Donuts, I, we call, I'm not going to say the word, but we call it. I just went to uh, Cumberland Farms. I walked out with a, a medium iced coffee. I paid a dollar. That's sweet. That's smart, man. Dunkin', That's... Do Dunkin Donuts is two ninety five for medium iced coffee. I just got a better one for a dollar. Well, forget Starbucks then, man. They must be starving up there. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you go for five dollars. They say five dollars. You crazy? I know, right? Hey, buddy, I just I just realized that we should. There's this guy on these commercials, and he's all the time. 
So, like, you go there, you get gas, and you walk. You got to get out of your car. That's the problem, Tom. There's no drive through You know what I mean? That okay. is a problem. <laughs> that's, that's a big problem around here. They don't sure. want to get out of their cars, so there you go. That's it. But anyways, let's go back on the silver eye. I got a, I got a hit chance for Friday. What do you think? What what num what did he grab? Um, I got I got the gold. Um, I got gold and uh, silver for the weekly. Um, I think it's the twelve seventy nine gold, and uh, I got the silver. Uh, whoa. Well, in gold, you're in good. Oh, you're got. at twelve eighty right now in gold, which is All good. Right, I got twelve. 1279.5 in gold and I got 1725 in silver. Oh, nice. you're, yeah. And you're at 1721 right you're now. Like right in at silver. the money in each one. Yeah. And, they, and they're, they're both uh, they're both moving today with conviction. And they, you know this this dollar can't handle it. We just got to make it through the two o'clock um, announcement. You know the two o'clock statement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, don't we all know that, right? Totally, man. Totally. <laughs> All right, look, I, I just wanted, I wanted to know if you guys had this Cumberland Farms. This place is, I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's coming, it'll come, Tom. It'll come. It's Did crazy. you buy some shares in Cumberland Farms over the weekend? <laughs> you know what? When I first noticed it, I don't think it's a public company, is it? I don't know. No, I'm no I don't think I'm so. Kidding. I mean, yeah. you know what's so funny is that I remember the, uh, when the Cumberland Farms folks used to be like little corner stores when I was growing up. Sure, yeah. You know? But guess what? Everyone loved their milk. Everyone and loves they, corner stores. Yeah, and it was it was a milk store then. Okay. You know, like milk and bread and sure. cigarettes. That's it. Yeah, and now so I'm sure it's much a, bigger, it right? It was a farm. That's why they had yeah. milk. Right. It's a farm. Right. Cumberland Farms. Right. Farming. Right. Yeah. Farm years ago when I used to go away for work, right? Yeah. They, they all, everybody went to 7-Eleven. Where, wherever I went, like when I went for a storm, right? You would have to go to 7-Eleven to get your coffee. That's where they went in those those states. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So so I realized what 7-Eleven was. Of course, nobody went to a 7-Eleven around here because we had Dunkin' Donuts, right? Yeah, right. So we got a lot of 7-Elevens in Farms. Florida. Yeah, I remember Cumberland Farms like you. Like, it was just a local little place. And now sure. it's become this, uh, it's like a gas station where you go in, Tom. It's like huge in there. And they, they make fresh uh, sandwiches and breakfast sandwiches. Really? Oh, wow. That's wild. Yeah. Okay, so, so it's just like a Wawa. You got Wawa's, yeah, yeah. man. Wawa runs a, a tight shot. You got to compete. Do you guys have Wawa's up there? I don't believe so. No, no. Yeah. We don't have them. No. Yeah. They're a good, they're good story. They're monsters down here. They, yeah. they just they came down here about five years ago, but they're like coming everywhere. They had those in Philadelphia when I was in college. We were yeah. big fans. They made sandwiches they, 24 hours a day. The clean store. That was good in college. I mean, they, they, right? they got their act together, man. Cooking, brother. That's what the cup. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Have a okay. great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow right now uh, is down seven. Nasdaq's up one. S&Ps are off two and a half. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge for daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. 
The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now uh, down three. Nasdaq's up three. S&P's are down two. Uh, you know, you can expect this volatility to continue, folks. Uh, you know, bottom line, we, we get the volatility out here. You're going to get the statement at 2 o'clock, and then you have a news conference today at 2.30. So, uh, real kick is going to be, okay, what, what does uh, Janet Yellen have to say inside the statement? You know, definitely. Um, oil jumping back. is I mean, toast. Under $45, and we got a spike. Let's see where the low is. It's quite a low. We're below 44.80, 44.70. We've traded to. It's pretty now intense. that's the July contract, and I know Bloomberg was pulling up August. They yep. were about 15 cents off. Either way, under 45 dollars. Right. So you're coming right into that swing low, and uh, bottom line is that uh, that's quite a price, man. Yeah. Let me just pull up the USO for a second, so I can just see string those volumes together. Yeah, you break, you break. You've already broken the swing low. The swing low is 9.43. You had 70 million shares, you're down 18. You're probably gonna have an ABC down. This is gonna be pretty intense if that's what it is, because that would be 1070, no, buck 40. And that's 820. Let me just pull this back for a second. <sighs> yeah, and your low, your, your low on this is 792, and that's, uh, That'd be pretty intense because that correlation, that's January of 2016. Sure. And CL, if we just put the continuous contract together here. Uh, what, what did I say? Day, August 2016, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's 40 bucks. Yep. $40 royal. Easy. It makes sense, too, because look where we are. Oh, yeah. That's, that, folks, and unleaded gas, by the way, uh, is pretty inexpensive right now, too. We go take a look at I like at cheap gas. Yeah, we My all, car still runs on gas. It's, it's so <laughs> cool, man. You know, so unleaded gas right now, folks, is 144 wholesale, down yeah. 3%. Because gas inventory has had a huge miss, too. Yeah, and yeah. It, it, that is something I think that we all save so much money on immediately, it's pretty intense. And that well, money you, gets you drive spent a, instantly. It does get spent instantly. Most people right. are spending every dollar they make, and most right. people, if they're saving money in gas, that's money they can spend on, whether it's groceries, it, exactly. entertainment, right. whatever it be. Right, mm, totally. You stay right there, folks. I'm in Mr. Basil Chapman, of course, gonna be coming up next. Then we're gonna go to Think or Swim headquarters in uh, beautiful Chicago. Steve Rhodes, Dave Wright, I'll be back this afternoon. Dave will be on, of course, as soon as the uh, Fed statement comes out as well as the uh, press conference. Press conference. And he always has a couple little uh, good videos. Does he? Good. Yeah. yeah I know. <laughs> There's no doubt.
It's a timely uh, program for him. It, it is. Loves, it is. What was his Fed song? Remember he did a Fed yeah, song? Yeah, that's, that's what. That, he'll have the Fed song today. Good. I mean, I think he will. Anyway. He better break yeah. it out. Yeah. Maybe he's in the den. I don't know. Yeah. Break it out, Dave. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so if we take a look at the uh, weakness versus the strength uh, inside the Dow here, uh, Chevron is putting 13 negative points. Goldman's putting 10, JP Morgan's putting 8, Exxon's putting 7, Apple's putting 6, putting positive points in. You got Travel's putting 8 positive, Boeing 7, 3M5, uh, NDX100, strength versus the weakness out here. Uh, your strength is Alexa Pharmaceutical. Look at that baby. Yeah. Up 8 bucks. I must get a drug 8%. that. 8%. Yeah. Oh, but, and 8 bucks. Okay. And it's been a dog anyway. So what yeah. do they got going? Uh, now we'll find out later. <laughs> you stay Everyone right there. We'll find out yes. later, one so, way or another. You stay right there, folks. Uh, Basil's coming right up. Dow Industrials right now are down 16. Nasdaq's off five. S and P's are off four and a half. Stay right there. Basil's coming right up. Thanks, Mel. Thanks, man. Folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.